Good afternoon, Grade 5. Today, we are going to learn the first aid principles and the basic first aid for common injuries and health conditions. First, do you have this at home? Do you know what this is? So, this is a first aid kit where... Um, a collection of basic supplies and equipment that is used to give a medical treatment. So, why do we need this at home? Accidents can happen everywhere at any time. So, it is important to be prepared at all times. Taking immediate action is the most essential principle in the first aid. It is important to keep in mind that a sick or injured person needs help and need it immediately. Most injuries or illnesses requiring first aid are not life and death situations. So, prompt action before a medical professional arrives can actually help ensure full and quick recovery. First aid should be given by a trained person. However, during an emergency situation, even an untrained person like us or even you can provide assistance that can mean the difference between life and death. That is why it is important to follow the basic principles of first aid. First, the first aid or safety first. The scene of the accident or emergency pose continuing danger, not only the injured but also the first aider. If both were at the scene when the emergency occurred, it is possible that the first aider may have sustained injuries as well. So, it is important to assess the situation first and ensure that the place where the first aid will be given is free from danger. Otherwise, the first aider and the injured person can be transferred to a safer place. Make sure it is safe to intervene. Remember that your main objective is to save, preserve life, ease pain, and prevent further injury to the patient. If you are unsure about what to do or fear that you might harm the patient, call for help. Avoid moving an injured person, especially if unconscious, unless not moving them puts them at a great, greater risk. So if you feel you might put the victim at greater risk, just call for help immediately. Conduct Initial Assessment Remember that what you have learned in the previous lesson about the ABC of first aid. So, if the patient is unconscious, check for airway for letter A, breathing for letter B, and circulation for letter C. And while waiting for help to come, observe signs, symptoms, and details of the patient's condition. Check for possible bleeding broken bones, and pain that the patient might be experiencing. If the injured person is conscious, ask questions about how he or she is feeling. Take immediate action. Take immediate action, but do not panic. If you have called for help and waiting for them to arrive, return to the patient and see how you can alleviate his or her suffering. If medical tools and equipment are not readily available, you can always improvise like bandages from a clean dress and tourniquet for from pieces of wood. At least, at least you can assure the patient that help is coming and help him to relax. Seek professional help. Remember that first aid is just temporary care given to the injured person. So it is always important to get professional medical help as soon as, the, as, as, soon as possible. So first aid has, has its limitation and does not take the place of proper medical care. So proceed to the hospital or see a doctor immediately, especially for a serious condition. So those were the uh, principles of first aid. First, uh, ensure the first aider's safety. Make sure that it is safe to intervene. Conduct initial assessment, which is the ABC. Take immediate action. Um, uh, 
doing uh, improvised um, materials or equipment, and seek professional help.